Okay, we are live again. And this morning, if you've just joined, if you're just watching for the first time, has been a series of technical difficulties. I have streamed, this is the fourth or fifth stream I've started, and I've had issues with aspect ratio. So right now I'm just checking if, if it's correct, and I'm hoping it is, fingers crossed. But what we're doing today is, is we are focusing on a different language than, than we usually do. It's a language called Hacks, and we are gonna focus on game development. So I'm looking at my other monitor to hope. Yep, so this is the correct aspect ratio. Thank goodness. Now I've lost all my viewers, so that's that's not good, but <laughs> at least this will be on, on demand. So people can watch this later on in, in their day or whenever they're available. Cool. Okay, so what we're doing is we're focusing on game development using a language called Hacks, which is a language that I really enjoy using, and a game engine called Hacks Flixel. Cool, all right, thanks for joining Ender69. Yeah, I got there in the end. Um, okay, and, and we are gonna focus on multiplayer. Now, like I said in the first stream, I haven't used hacks in months, so I'm very rusty. And this arguably will be the least prepared stream I have ever done. So I might stream for an hour, an hour and a half and, and not get anywhere because this is more me refreshing my memory on, on hacks. So if you do have any tips, feel free to shout out in the chat. I'm always looking at the chat and what we're going to focus on is is a multiplayer game in hacks so like i mentioned before i thought this is a pretty open and shut case we're going to focus on local multiplayer and and not uh online multiplayer that might be a different stream but can you throw oh you want me to, to share it on my discord server or share the link of my discord server give me a second let me do that now do i have that available here so this is this is my discord server Yes, yeah, I got it working. Thank you, Christian. Yeah, let, let me figure out, I'm, I'm rubbish on Discord, but let me uh, grab a link, I'll copy the link, I'll put it in the chat. And if, if you're interested, you can join the server. Um, people aren't very active on it, but anyway, I, I put up a poll on the Hacks Flixel Discord server and, and the most voted topic was to do multiplayer and local multiplayer. And like I said, I, I thought this was an open and shut case. I thought this was quite simple. And I looked at this demo so this demo has got local multiplayer in, in the Hackflux website, looks at the code, and it seems pretty self-explanatory. So that there are three main uh, variables, so player one, player two, level. And oh, thanks, thank you for all the love and the 69, I really appreciate that. Let me make this a bit bigger so I can see it more. And that's the chat, not, not the screen. Anyway, so there are the two players. So player one, you control with WASD, so you can see the controls are at the bottom here, I think. Um, here we go. So this is actually player two. So I think play, player two is WASD, but whatever. Player two, WASD, w, player one, left, right, up and down. So I think one player is on one side of the screen, another person on the other, and they both have different cameras. So what I've done is I've copied this code and I've put it into a new game. So this is the code. I've um, changed it somewhat to remove the, the level. So this level here in the demo, I don't have that file, I could get it, but I'm not bothered to. So this is the game right now, the, the players are just endlessly falling. So I can control the, well, that looks a bit weird, look at that. Oh, I see what's happening. So so the so the, the, um, the red player on the left-hand side, this is actually quite small, I'll make it a bit bigger. Let me change that. Um, for those of you who are wondering, and this put me off, these things in gray, this is type inferencing from the hacks side, so the hacks, hacks assumes what the type is for the variable. And this is new to me, this, this didn't exist in the old version of VS Hacks, so this is all new to me. Yeah, it's a lot, right? I don't know how to turn it off. It's quite annoying. <laughs> but anyway, so, so what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna increase the size of the players because they're quite small. So player one, that's the position, color red, player two. And we are gonna find create player, that's the function we want. And that is uh, match traffic 10. Okay, it's fine. We'll, we'll make them 10 times the size. Save that. I'm, I'm running Hacks Flixel on a, a, a template that I've created. I'll have a link to that, uh, maybe in the description at some point. But but what it does, whenever I save it, it rebuilds the game. So it's building the game right now. It's, it's not as fast as I want it to be. Okay, so it's done. So now it's rebuilt. If I, if I refresh, the player should be a bit bigger. There we go. So they're both a bit bigger. I'm going to get rid of this actually, this WASD, but this is meant to tell people how to control the game. Um, I copied it from the demo, it didn't work quite well. So what's going on 
when I'm moving the red player on the left hand side of the screen, it's moving the blue player. Is, is that correct? Is that what it's supposed to do? I don't understand. No, I don't think so. I think I think something's messed up. Yeah, I think the <laughs> I didn't intend to fix bugs in in demo code, but here we go. So I I think the arrow keys are only meant to control the red player, and WASD is supposed to control the blue player. So let me see how 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 is that how is that broken? I copied and pasted this exactly, and it's doing the wrong thing. I don't I don't understand. But anyway, yeah, I, th I think if if we try and figure figure this issue out, it might help answer people's questions about multiplayer. I don't know. But first things first, let's get rid of that that black um, box that had the instructions. We don't need that. Look, okay. Is is it fine? Let me have a look. So I'm I'm using uh okay. So this is WASD to to move. So I thought that no, I I don't get what you're saying, Christian. The movement's not quite fine because arrow keys is meant to move the the red player. WASD is meant to move the blue player, but only one player is moving, and I'm using two different sets of keys. I'm using WASD here and the arrow keys. So unless I'm doing something wrong. Red is moving on both screens. Yes, red is red is not moving on both screens for me. Red, red is red is only moving on on the blue side of the screen, and it's still how how yeah this this is oh is is it because no oh I see I see what you're saying I think I see what you're saying Christian it's, it's because the the camera is following the red right and because there's there's nothing let me have a look at the demo I think I see what you're saying so if if I go here. It's not a bug. Okay, so the camera is following the blue on that one. And it's weird, that is weird, okay. I told you this is gonna be the least prepared stream because I haven't worked on hacks in ages, but okay, so in the demo, the camera's following here, okay. I, I think I see what you're saying, yes. You, no, you're, you're, I think you're both right. So in, in this here, the camera's following the the blue, so on the, on the, the right screen, left screen. So if, if I move the blue with WSD, the the red moves and the blue, yes. But if I move the red, no, I'm a bit lost. I'm still a bit lost. I I think I probably need some kind of gravity to to see what's going on. Let, let me restart the game. So if I if I move just just to see what's going on with this one. Okay, yeah, I see it now. I definitely see it. Yeah, I see it. Okay. So let's keep this thing in place. Let's get rid of the gravity that's going on. I think there's some kind of gravity to make everything fall down. And that is, is that acceleration? No, that's when you press press a button. What's making everything fall down? So you've got you've got the collision over here. I just want to make keep everything still so I can see what's going on easily. But yeah, thanks thanks for pointing that out, guys. I would have spent ages trying to fix the bug. That wasn't a bug. Okay, so we've got the drag, we've got acceleration. Let's get rid of that at the moment. I think that's making them fall down, yeah. And then if we do that, can I move the position? of the instructions. Height, X, Y, Y text, what's Y text? Int, where is that set? Instructions, sprite, make graphic. That's the width of the graphic, height of the graphic. And the color is black. Okay, uh, it doesn't have a position, X and Y, Y text. I do know the game as Friday Night Funking, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I haven't played it myself, I have heard of it. But it's, it's, not, it's not a game I play. Uh, I've I've broken the game. What happens? What did I do? Okay, that's working. So if if they're not moving, I just I just need to have an object to orientate my my vision because I think I'm a bit lost. So we have this here is set to zero. So that this is set quite high. But what's what is y text? Y text has to be a value. And where is that set? That's okay. Fine. So if, if I were to, what's that, what's the button to, like I said, I'm so rusty, this is what I want, here we go. So, there's no, fine, what what I can do instead of this is just try and put it in the same position. Just have like something that's static on, on both screens, that's that's my worry. Please create more hacks for videos, I, I will do. Thanks for that. Um, Fahad, I, I think Fahad, if I'm pronouncing them correctly, I think I just need to find the time to do it. I think the web stuff, Seems to be doing better than the game dev stuff, but I'll try and do more game dev stuff going forward. It's done. It's done via hacks. Yes, Ender sixty nine. The the game 
Friday Night Funking is made via Hax. It's made in this engine that I'm using, Haxflixel. Um, so if yeah, if you have any questions about that, I'll, I'll try and look into it. But I haven't had any interest in working on Friday Night Funking or looking into it. Okay, so play X position, Y position, cool. So what I want to do is just manually input this position here because I think it's it's too too far there, and that can be two hundred as well. Just to see where it, where it puts it on the screen. Um, funnily enough, the instructions don't exist on the demo, do they? Or is that? Oh, so these. Okay, fine. Okay. So, so these instructions here uh, are down. Okay, that's, that makes more sense now. How are we looking for building? It's still building. It takes a while to build, and I've got compilation server on in the background as well. Ten seconds to build. Wow, that's uh, definitely not good. I need, I need to start that again. It should be, but it should be a lot quicker than that. Okay, here we go. So this, even though it, this black bar looks a bit weird, it's actually helping me figure out what's moving on, on uh, not quite, <laughs> not quite. It's not, okay, that, that's fine. What I'm gonna do is, is put a square there that, that doesn't move. So, Hax is awesome, yes, it, it is. Pin please. What What do you mean, and what do you mean by pin please? I don't understand. Okay, make graphic, so we have this graphic here. Add object BG text. That's fine. Why is BG text moving with the, with the gravity? Is it, it doesn't have any gravity assigned to it. Oh, because the the characters in the background are moving. So can I go back to BG text? This this was definitely a bad idea. I think um, what I need to do is have a look at the size of the game because the the characters are moving. Right. Sorry. So blue's moving, and then, okay. So blue's onion that's moving. That makes sense. And they both collide. But what? Why is this? Oh, I see. Because it's got a collision on it. So let's let's prevent it from colliding. I've actually forgotten how to do that. I think it's um. How do you prevent things from colliding again? I'm gonna have to look at my my old code because I'm just really rusty on hacks. How do you prevent things from colliding in hacks? I think it's uh. This is my this is my GitHub. If anyone's interested in my GitHub. I'm just looking at some of my old games to see how to do that because I've completely forgotten. Um, I don't really care about popularity of the games. Echo tutorial, no, not Echo. I don't want to use Echo. Game off. Let's try this. Okay, so source. Let's go to levels. Ski level. How do you provide prevent things from colliding? Pin message. What, what do you mean by pin message? I don't understand. You want me to pin your message? Hacks is awesome. Is that what you want me to do? Um. Okay, give me... I was just forgetting what I'm doing. I get distracted by the chat. Okay, so we have... How do you prevent things? Is it? I'm so rusty with Hacks Pixel. I used to know this. Thanks, I, I'm glad you're enjoying my stream. Um, it's quite quiet because there's no music, so I'm talking to fill in the, the silence. Okay, yeah, you, you can watch stream while you're working. I think you'll be disappointed at how rusty I am at hacks. There's a lot of things I used to know that I just haven't used in a long time and I've forgotten. So it's, some, it's something like, oh, what is it? It's something like Collide Zero. I've forgotten how to do this. This is so annoying. Um, prevent collision man okay let, let's not do that I do know how to do this I, I used to do it quite often I just, I've just forgotten let's go to this game over here um, Kevin and Maisie see if I've got it in there it's quite a quite simple game me too what do you mean by me too as, as in as in you, you forget things as well or 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 you you haven't used hacks in a long time let me know Okay, so I want. I think I want levels. Uh, just, just anyone really. I wish you make more content with hacks and hacks. Also. Yes, I, I, I will do more in the future. I think it's just a case of finding the time. Just a case of find prevent movement. Is that that's it? Is that it? Prevent movement. <laughs> is is that what I want? Let's have a look. BG sex. Prevent. Is that what I want? Movement. Is that is that how you do it? Oh yeah, you, you can you can share it. I think I'm just worried people are going to be disappointed at, at how boring this is. Is that is that what I want? I can't remember if that's 
I, th I think that's what I, is that? Uh, I've, I've forgotten. Let's just try it and see if it works. I think it's prevent movement. I'm quite disappointed at how long the game, oh, uh, something's happened. Yeah, doesn't exist, fine. Prevent movement does not exist. So what, what is, where's the thing? Oh, am I going to spend the whole stream trying to figure out how to stop something from moving? I used to know this. I don't think it's, it's something else. It's something really simple. Well, not really simple, but it's, uh, when it comes back to me, I'm going to kick myself. Okay. Well, how, how do I test something uh, HTML? Okay. So, um, I, I have quite a complex way of, of running things. So let me show you. So I've, I've got, um, I'll make a new tab here. So if you're using Lime in Hackslip, so I think the command is Lime test HTML5. And if you run that command, it, it will, um, down here, it will test the game in HTML5. I think most people tend to test the game in, what is that called? Hackslink, Hackslink, which is popular. I think it's a bit buggy for OpenFL on Mac, so I don't really do that. But in my opinion, because because I'm a web developer, full time. I'm used to working on the web, so I, I find it more helpful. There's also the developer tools, which you can use for debugging things, which I find really helpful. Checking memory as well on the dev tools is, is really helpful. Okay, if someone knows how to stop something, something from colliding, please let me know. Is there, hang on a minute, is this a, uh, give me a second. If you're on boxes not to move, don't touch. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's a fair point. That's not what I want to do. I think, um, is this, oh, this is so annoying. Cause I used to know how to do this. I, th I think the place to do it probably is, is not, is not, is not here. Give me a sec. It's not, I keep seeing prevent movement. It's not that, is it? Is it prevent movement? Okay, give me a sec. Maybe this should go down. Oh no, this variable's up here. I used to know how to do it, it's so annoying. I'm sure it's prevent movement. But let's, let's set this variable up here. Uh, uh, whoops, that's an FLX sprite. I'm so bad at spelling right now. <laughs> I'll get there in the end. Okay, so so that um, my scroll speed on my mouse is really fast as well. That was unexpected. Okay, so we've got that. Is this this is a sprite missing field? What? That's that's not a bug. Um, and so what I want to do is put that here. Text PG, I think, and then prevent default. Is that a thing? No, it's not a thing. So where is that coming from? How? Prevent movement, sorry, not prevent default, prevent movement. Where does, where does this come from? I'm sure it must exist somewhere because I've got this mazy sprite. And that, where, that, that's made prevent movement equals root. Because I'm not making this prevent movement up, right? It must be a thing. So mazy moving. Where does that come from? Where have I instantiated that? Add mazy. So Maisie must be a sprite. I'm sure it's prevent movement. Let's see if someone's got anything on that. Conditions. No. Maybe I'll just, I just made that up. Yeah, prevent movement does, does not exist. Okay, let's have a look at the documentation for collisions and I'm, I'm so annoyed I have to go to the documentation to find things out. Okay, collision, 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 collision. Where would that be? Um, hold on. Yes, so the, you're right, the collide call makes everything collide. What I want to do is make something not collide. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point, actually. You just, you just made me think of something that might fix it. So I just want to collide, actually. Yeah, let's get rid of collisions, actually. That, that's a fair point. I don't, let's get rid of that. And then that, that might help with the issue. Yeah, you're, spec you're right. So I could specify the player one and player two, which is what I want to collide. Um, and, and not the, but there, there is something you can do. I forgot what it is. There is something you can do that when players, when things do collide, one thing doesn't move, if that makes sense. Like if, if a player hits something else, like, like a box or a wall, 
that that won't move. How many times has he touched hacks? Well, I <laughs> I've touched it a lot, but <laughs> I don't know if "touched" is the right word. But I've I've used it a lot, but I haven't used it recently. If that makes sense, I've I've been very rusty recently. So has, has that build finished? There was a time where I had a notification in my okay, that's done in my um, OS where it would tell me when hacks clicks of build is finished, and I don't have that anymore. Okay, see, so look, look. Okay, here we go. So that's. I, th I think I've got it. So it's not colliding anymore. So here we go. So blue is moving. And now, yeah, so this, this is correct behavior. Fine. Okay. So what? Oh, it still, it still collides. Look at that. It still moves. It still moved. I didn't, I didn't do anything. Um, and the collisions are turned off. How, how is that possible? Anyway, what we, what we want to do is we can actually get rid of this because I don't want any jumping. I just want moving left and right. So let's get rid of that. And what what I want to do is, I guess, talk you through the camera. Cannot access, what? why have I got so many errors? Oh, I don't need that anymore, actually. Because I've set, I've set that up here. So I'll, t I'll talk you through the cameras. So I think it's pretty self-explanatory how the player is created. Okay. Yeah, you, you go and do some work. Um, this will be on YouTube for as long as it will be, so you can go and watch it whenever you want. Okay, so we've got this. I, I want to turn these off. Okay, cool. <laughs> Enjoy work. Um, I want to turn these off. I want to turn these um, these suggestions off. I wish, I wish there's a way to do it. I mean, I think you can double click and, and they'll apply, I think. I don't know. I don't know why the new VS Hacks has got them in. I don't, I don't like them. Anyway. So we've got player one, player two have been created and added. We've got cameras one and camera two. So what I'm going to do is is get rid of these cameras just to show you what the game is like without player-specific cameras. Um, I actually did want to figure out how to join the cameras if the player was together, if the players were together, so player one and player two, and then split them if, if they're too far apart. I think that would be quite a cool thing to do. For, for local multiplayer. Is that built? Okay, I think that's built. This is fine. So I, I guess this, this shows that there, there are no cameras. Yep, so it's built, that's fine. Because one camera's got a certain background, the other one doesn't. But there is a default camera, which is this one. And we can get the default camera to follow a single player. And like I said, I'm really rusty at hacks pixels, so I've forgotten how to do that. Let me see if I've got any code to refresh my memory. Can I download this? That might be helpful. Um, just to search through it. Come on, ZSH. Okay. Do I have that game available? What games have I got available? Uh, I have... Not many games available actually. I like I said I haven't used hacks in ages, so I haven't So I need to clone one of the games just just to browse through. I think it'd be easy just to browse through a, a simple game that I've made. Let's let's clone that. Okay. Once again, I apologise for the bad quality. I think the next hack stream I'll do will, will be a lot, will be a lot um, more succinct, if that makes sense. But yeah, if you have any questions about my workflow, about how how I'm doing things, please feel free to ask, because I I can appreciate how alien this must look to some people. That's the one I want. Okay, so this is snowball follow. No, that's not what I want. Let's get rid of that. I want the camera follow. Is that like, uh, you can, uh, I haven't done this in a while. Like I said, you can follow people with cameras. So this is the way that works here. Um, is it? Or you can follow sprites. So you've got the snowball follow function, which is what I've written there for path following. Um, is it like a camera follow? Camera shake, camera anti-alias, that's not what I want. 
auto pause. Oh, this is a bad game to to use actually because there's no following in this game. <laughs> I'll use a different game. That's, that's my bad. I think annoyingly the best game to use is a game that uses echo. And I'm not I'm not, I'm not using echo in in this. Um, okay, let's just use this one actually. Let's grab this. This is the first game I ever made in Hackspixel. Well, the first real game, the other ones were tests. Yes, the stream, as in the quality of the stream, or or, or, or me as, as the person doing the stream. Is it, is it the stream quality? What are you referring to? Sound is fine. Oh, okay, the stream quality. So I, I guess it might be my either my internet or... Um, like the latency of the stream is 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 it? I must be. I don't know how to change that live. <laughs> how do I change that? Can you try putting your like resolution down or something? W will that help? Sound is fine. I don't. Know if that, I guess. I guess that's something. But um, like I said, because this is on YouTube, you can always watch it back. To I think the, the quality is better after it's done all its um, compressing and stuff. So uh, yeah, you're, you're not missing a lot because I'm not doing much. I think the next hack stream I'll do, I do, I'll, I'll be a lot more on on the ball with it. I think this is just me getting back into hacks, so I'm not I'm not really proud of this stream. <laughs> it's very clunky. Okay, I think that's a latency thing. I don't know if I can change that now. Let me try. Let me see if I can change it now. How how would I change that now? Let's have a look at, at the video. No, I, I can't change it now. I think because I've I've started the stream already. Yeah, I can't. It's not. It's locked. It's locked the settings. I think on on the next stream I do in the future stream, I'll I'll change the settings so the the quality is a bit lower. If that makes sense. Um, it it could also be that I'm I'm doing a lot of movement. Give me a sec. Yeah, I'm doing I'm doing a lot of movement, so it takes a while. For the stream to catch up. Because if I'm jumping between desktops and stuff, it won't catch up as quickly as if as if I wasn't. Right, camera fade. Do we have a follow tweet? Flash. Here we go. This is exactly what I want. Um camera here we go. Camera follow. So camera follow. I've forgotten the um documentation but we're going to follow just one player instead of two um and the aim being that <clears throat> if both players are close together it will just follow this main one i'm not sure how possible that is okay um is it still clunky? Is the stream still clunky? Maybe someone at home is using my internet and I can tell them to get off. Someone might be streaming a film or something. Have you ever used car? No, I haven't used car. It looks, I think, so something I'm gonna try out before I use car is um. Is heaps. So car and heaps, cars to me is like a more complex version of heaps. And so I'd rather try heaps out first and before trying car. What, what, where's my, where's the game? What's going on? It should, it should, be showing something. Um, create camera. Where's the create camera? Oh, uh, okay. So it's added. Okay, fine. But I'm not. I'm not doing any of this stuff, right? Or I guess what I could do is instead of having this, I could just create one camera. So just have one camera being created, and I can change that later. What what do you think of car? Have you used car, Christian, or is it something you want to learn how to use? All right, let me get rid of that. I'm not, I'm not running the game. Building the game, and now it's done. I notice sometimes when I'm streaming, the the game is a bit it's a bit slow. Not the game, just the computer. Hang on a minute. This this is un. Just getting into hacks, and I like the low level of car. Okay, I just haven't haven't thought about doing something low level. I think it, it kind of scares me. 
So this is weird. I only have one camera, so it should it, it shouldn't be split. It shouldn't be split. This is weird. I don't think it's a bug, but I don't know how to fix it. Let's have a look. So it's okay. It's got half width here. Fine. Is there a full width variable? Let's grab that. Is that so? This is converted into a uh, into int. Does it? Is width an int? Yeah, width is an int, so it should be fine. So if I change this to full width, just to see what happens, really, I'm I'm just experimenting here. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> but I, I guess what, one thing to think about when doing a local multiplayer game is a, a player might have a, a controller, like you might have two PS4 controllers or PS5 or Xbox controllers that you want to connect and so the game needs to detect when the second controller is plugged in or when it's activated and then and then you can assign that to the second player. That was something I wanted to do. I don't I didn't prepare well enough for that. Okay, so we've got we've got one camera. This is this is perfect. One camera and we're controlling two people somehow. Yes, so here we go. So two people are being controlled with one camera. This this is a lot more easy to see. So arrow keys for the red A and W or A and D for for the blue. Right. So we're good. So, let's say we want to, we want to, that, this is actually quite an interesting problem to solve. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. Because if, if we wanted to change the camera width dynamically based on the position of the player, how, how would you do that? That's uh, okay, let's try it. But yeah, if, if you have any questions on, on local multiplayer, if this is what you expected to see me do, let me know because I, I, I'm going in blind. So yeah. Okay. So you've got create camera, which will create the camera width and height, half width. Is that, that's the default? Is that a default? So X, X is X, so you can pass that in. Okay, so, so me passing in the width value, it's just the position of X, oh fine. Okay, I see that, so I haven't, haven't set the width of the camera, I've just set the position of X. And then we've got camera follow, color. I don't I don't think I like having different background colors. I think that, that's a bit weird to me. But anyway, so it follows, but then adds the new camera. So what I, what I want to do is to say, if a player is at a certain position away from another player, then we want to we want to turn some cameras off. How do you turn a camera off? Is that possible? Turn, turn, so we're going to have three cameras and one turn off. Okay, so you have to add the camera. Well, I guess we need to add them all. So if you have three, we add them all. But we want to do it so when you get to a certain, certain position, one camera will turn off. Yes, one camera will turn off and the other camera will also turned on. So let's experiment with this. Let, let's have this back at half width but then we'll turn that off because I I'm gonna, I just wanna turn one off and keep one on. So we're gonna expose that one and see what that looks like. I think this one will be going at full width. I'm assuming it, it will go at full width. And then, and then let me think, then we need to check the position. Yeah, check the position. How do you delete? Um, Sorry, I'm, I'm just jumping around a lot with my thought. Let me have a look at the API for the camera, the camera, FLX camera. So if I hit that one, does it give me a list of methods? Front end camera. What are we looking at here? Front end camera, list defaults, background color, use buffer. Can you delete it? How do you remove a camera? Add, okay, that's fine. So you can add a camera, remove. Here we go, this is what I want. I guess the benefit of remove is, or is, is that what I want? I want to. I actually want to toggle the camera. I want to turn it on and off. So reset. That's fine. Flash. I don't want to do that. Fade. Don't want to do that. Shake. Okay. Let's see if this is even possible. Or is there a way to set the camera alpha? Because we can hide. Hmm. That seems a bit hacky to to do that. Remove the camera from the game whether to call, okay. So I don't want to destroy it. 
but I, w- I want to turn it on when necessary. Let me see what I've done now. Okay, this is not what I expected to happen. I expected to have one camera. This is this is very confusing to me. The way the camera is working, flexible. Okay, so we're going back to level one. We should have that camera, which is start which starts at zero. I think the problem here is its width is set to half. That's the problem. And I want that one to be full. So I need to have the ability to set the width for for a specific camera. Um. I don't like having capital capital names for variables, int, but by default it's it's half width. I think is that is that how it works? Yeah. Will that work? Is half width outside? No, half width needs to be outside. Um, no, that's not going to work actually. That's not going to work. I just need to pass it in. So we're going to have width here. Passed in. Yeah, yeah. So with the person as, as a variable, why is this here? I don't like this. I I know I know what it's doing. Okay, so we've got new. Show me we've got x y width height. Okay, fine. I, I know what that is. I don't know why I've got this grey grey text here saying width. I, I don't want that. Off stream, I'm gonna figure out how to remove that because I don't really like it. But let's let's go to create camera and, and put the widths in manually. So this width here, I want to be full. Actually, is there another variable after it? No. Okay. Yeah. So this width, I want to be full width. So that would be FLX width. So that's like the the game width, which is fine. And then if I ever turn this one on, this will be half width. So let's grab that here. Okay. So fingers crossed that that will have the, the game full width. Is is the stream still choppy? Let me know because I, it's difficult for me to tell the stream quality. Do, do, do. So if, if you're watching the stream, you'll notice I don't have any music in the background and that's because I don't want to expose you to my music taste because you might not like it, but you're welcome to have your own music in the background. Here we go. So we have a full width. Fantastic. So each player is being controlled differently. The the uh, red player, not the red, the blue player is the one that's being followed. So that makes sense. And now what I want to do is is when, let's, let me think, let me just make something up. So, so if player two if the exposition of player two is like, I don't know, 300, then we split the cameras. So let's set that here. Or, or we remove remove the camera. Yeah, is that? Mm, the camera remove, yeah. The camera remove API function, okay. So is is that camera dot remove? We need a name with name of the camera, right? Do we? Do we even need the name of the camera? I think. Give me a sec. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. So we need FLX cameras dot remove and then remove said camera. So if I say I don't know if um, underscore player two dot x equals equals I don't know three hundred, then we can say FLX cameras remove. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm just um, going on good faith here. Yeah, stream is still bad sometimes. I think you're correct. It's when you, yeah, yeah, I think that's what it is. My my machine can't handle that much streaming. I guess because it's uploading and downloading at the same time and just like the amount of pixels that are jumping between cameras. So so what I could do to make it easier is just to have have the game. Let's get rid of that. What I could do is, is have this browser here full screen. I don't know how this is gonna work. So it'll be full screen, but it will be attached to to here. There we go. Oh, that's not what I want. I've, I've destroyed it. Okay. So the, this is going to be full screen. And this one here is going to be full screen. I don't know why my mouse has appears when I hover over the game. I've, I've set it to not do that. But anyway, so they're both full screen now. 
if I put that here, will that work? No, it's not doing what I want it to do. It's meant to be half and half. Okay, well, well, for now, we'll leave it as is. I think, like I said, the next stream I'll do, I'll be more prepared and I'll have it so that it's not jumping around and, and having clunky video. But for now, you live and you learn. So, I guess the problem here, yeah, the problem here is that these cameras, I, I don't have access to them after they've been created. So if I were to hit run the remove function, there's there's no way to to say what camera I want to remove, right? Because here you've added a camera. So what I'd have to do, the plot thickens. What I'd have to do is have two camera variables that are set probably up here, right? Can you do that? No. So I'd, I'd, have, to, I'd have to have two camera variables. So camera one, camera two. Yeah, so let's do that now. So we have var camera one, FLX camera, duplicate that and have camera two. So we've got camera one and camera two. And what we're gonna do is assign, we'll sign them up here. So we are going to, <laughs> yeah, it is definitely Friday after all. But yeah, like I said, next stream, I'll, I'll figure it out. It's not difficult to do, I've actually done it before. I don't know why. Let me let me give it one more try. Let me try it one more time. So, if I come to this desktop here and try and plonk that into here, please work, please work, please work. Okay. This is what I wanted to do. So now, I guess the only issue now is like I can't see when. Oh, this is a problem. Yeah, I can't see when the game is finished compiled. If that makes sense. So I'm just gonna have to stay on the screen and hope that it's finished compiled. But this, is this better? Is this okay for you guys? Let me know. If not, I'll just go back to the way it was before. How are we doing for time? I've been streaming for 42 minutes, okay. I'm gonna stream for an hour and a half tops. The aim is to stream for an hour. Um, I hope you've learned something from this. I, I know I've just been waffling and experimenting, but this is a stream for me to get back into hacks more than for you to learn something. I mean, but I hope you have learned something from it, from it. Okay, what were we doing? We were, yes, we were giving variables to different cameras so that I can control when to turn one on and off. And if I'm doing that, I don't need a function for each camera, right? Do whatever makes you happy, okay. We'll try this way for a bit, maybe five, 10 minutes. If it works, I'll leave it like that. If it doesn't, then I'll go back to the way it was before. So, because I've done that, now what I can do, let's grab, let's grab that, Oh, I'm actually gonna make this a bit smaller because I find it difficult to follow when it's too big. I'm gonna grab this one, put it up here. Oh, here we go, this is this is what was causing me issues. Okay, so we've got camera one, which is already an FLX camera, and that will be, what have I set that to? What, what's that been set to? Okay, so x is zero. Yeah, x x is zero. Width is flx g width, I think. Um. Actually, no. Give me a sec. I I think I think I know how to do this. This this is not the right way to do it. What I'm actually going to do is is in that create camera function, I'm going to to return a camera. So yeah, I, I won't add one. Yeah, so sorry, I'm I'm just going back on myself. I'm I'm haven't used I haven't used hacks in a while, basically. I haven't used flexible in a while, so yeah. Give me give me some time. Okay, so let's get rid of that again because that's causing me issues. I want to see my mouse, I don't want it to be invisible for me. And then I'm gonna return the camera. So this will no longer return a void, this will return an FLX camera. And then I can get rid of that, like so, and I can assign camera, so call this camera two, to that, and then I can put that here, and that will add camera two. So because of, I've done that, and I have access to this camera two, who camera two, oh, I got rid of it. <laughs> okay. Get lost VS code. So now I have, I've done that, I've got access to camera two, down here in the update function. So, 
cameras remove player two. Oh, it's not underscore player two x equals 300 i don't know how well this will work camera remove camera two okay not enough arguments how many arguments does this need oh it's missing this is what happens when you use javascript for a long time you forget that you have to put semicolons at the end because in javascript semicolons at the end of lines are optional which it's fine for beginners, I guess. I think for me personally, I'd like to keep them in. I guess not for beginners. Sorry, I, I take that back. It's a style choice. You could be an expert and, and still have, what do you call it? Still have semicolons at, at the end. Sorry, still remove semicolons. Okay, so I think the game's built. No, it hasn't, it hasn't built. The stream is not good. What do you mean by that? Is, is, the, quality da is the quality bad? Has the quality gone down of the stream? Okay, it's still building the game. Why is it okay? So it's done. Why is it building multiple times? Oh, I've got I've got a backlog of saves. Um, I think for the next stream. Oh, the frame freezes. Is is it still frozen? Oh, that's that's my camera. No, it looks fine for me. It hasn't frozen for me. I don't know why it's frozen for you. Okay, we've got a, vis a visible mouse. Okay, so we've got. We've got two cameras, um, or one camera. Um, okay, so so what's gonna happen is if I move player two, which I think player two, yeah, play, no. Player two is the blue one. So I move that to X300, the camera should die, but it's not dying, so I don't know what's happening. Is the frame still frozen? Now now the video is, is fluid. Is that what you mean? Flu fluid? <laughs> I don't know what you've written. Um, yeah, I, I think it might be, what I'm gonna do for my next stream is change the latency because it's difficult for me to see. Um, it's difficult for me to see what's actually going on with the stream. Let me have a look. Okay, I, I can see notifications now. I've never seen this before. I might need to, okay, so it says, no. What does that mean? Skipped frames. Yeah, uh, due to high CPU, okay, fine. I think what I'm gonna do for my next stream is is uh, re restart my computer before I, before I stream, because I think I've got a lot in the background. Yeah. No, it's fine, it's fine. Um, so it's, it's saying my CPU is doing a lot and, and it's slowing the stream down. So yeah, n next time I stream, because I think I've had my computer on for a few days, I haven't turned it off or restarted it. So, so next time I stream, I'll, I'll do a restart before I start streaming. Right, where was I? So what I'm gonna do is figure out the position of player two. This isn't... Um, Yeah, what what I'm gonna do? Let's let's put a control log here. So is it is it JS control log? Oh no, trace, trace uh, player two position. The stream is okay. Before I could not follow you because the video. Yeah. I think um, yeah yeah. I've heard audio has always been good, but like I said, I, I think it's 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 okay. It skip streams. It skip streams again. Give me a second. I've got a notification when it skips the stream. So lower your encoder settings. So let me find my encoder settings. H how do I do that? Is that a video setting? People who use uh, OBS Studio, let me know how to, how to lower my encoder settings. But I mean, I I might change it for my next stream. So please don't worry too much about it now. And like I said, on my next stream, I'll, I'll do a better job of figuring this out because this is all still kind of new to me. Yeah, so it seems that I can't I can't update the encoder settings once the stream has happened. So I'd have to wait for it to, to finish streaming before before updating it. Cool. So I'm gonna write um, player to pause. Just, this is just to see if the position of player two is updating. Um, Give me a sec. I used to do this quite often. I've just completely forgotten. 
Is it JS console log? JS dot browser console log? Is that a thing? JS browser con no console. Okay. Let's try that. No. No, okay, fine. Let's put it back to trace. The stream is gonna get worse. <laughs> You'll hit 60, okay. That That is a fair point. Okay, so I, I won't do that. <laughs> so what I wanna do is, is basically check that the player position has been updated. So I guess one way I can do that is just to check the API of, of FLX Sprite. So let's do that now. And just to see if it gives the position of and also, there's a lot of stuff going on. Sorry, I should have mentioned this. There's stuff going on here. So I've got the game building each time I save. I've also got the compilations that are running in the background. So that's probably hammering CPU as well. So I need to figure out a way maybe to, to offload that somehow. Um, but anyway, I will figure that out the more I stream. Right. So let's let's figure out the. It's actually being slow for me as well. Um, what am I looking at? FLX sprite. So I want to figure out the position of. Of the, this is oh my goodness. Okay, give me a sec. I think I've done this before. I've just forgotten how to do it. Um, position, position, usable. So you can yeah, that's a good point. So I think the the dot position is is um no um is it I think that the FLX FLX sprite has a has a dot position option right no I can't see it here let me just have a look here. Get screen position, adjust position. No, this is, this isn't what I want. Positions fine. I just haven't used this in a while. I'm just a bit rusty. I thought there was a position option. Set position, velocity y. No. Okay, fine. That that's okay. This is all okay. Let's do what you said and have a boolean instead. So if if uh, if I don't know. Or hang on a minute, so we're gonna have a trace. I mean, this is this trace is still gonna trigger. Oh no, wait, not in a boolean. You're right. So if if I do it, if player two dot x uh, is equals equals I don't know 100, then we could do a trace. Um, it moves something like that. See if that hits. But I've just, I've just forgotten the API of FLX Sprite. I used to know it, like the back of my hand. Animation play velocity. This is a, a game I made earlier. Like, this is the first game I've ever made in Max Flixel. I'm just checking to see if I ever use the position option. So the set position, which is fine. But to check what the position is, is it is it just player.x or is it player.position x? That's where I'm a bit lost. Anyway, let's inspect the element. Let's pop this in the browser down here. Look at the console, zoom in a bit so you can see what's going on. Not that much. And then we'll refresh the page. So, um, player two is not doing anything. So it's not, it's not like hitting the X hundred position. Um, what I could also do is check, this is actually a very small for you. I could check the, no, I don't have Flixel Studio installed, so I can't check anything. <laughs> but if I had Flixel Studio installed, I could check the position. Okay, so let's figure this out. Acceleration X. This should work. This should definitely work. I guess, I guess what what's happening no, I thought I thought what was happening is because this is happening before. Um, actually, this this should be down here maybe.
Yeah, maybe that should be down here. Maybe it doesn't make a difference. I don't know. But I think there definitely must be a play. So FLX Sprite X. Yeah, there must be a. This is so weird. Why is the X randomly here? There must be um. Uh, an X and Y. I want to turn that off so badly. Uh, do, do, no, it doesn't, doesn't work, it doesn't do anything. Because when the player starts out, the X should be... 65 of player 2. And so it should move to 100 at some point. But it doesn't seem to do anything. There's nothing in the console. Maybe I could do. Maybe I could put a breakpoint in place. Yeah, let's let's try let's try a breakpoint. So what I could do is say, just um, just just have a a breakpoint. Like here, JSD bug. Is that how you do it? I used to know how to do it. I've just completely forgotten. Is it browser debug? JS browser debug. Dot debug. Is that a thing? No, this isn't it. JS debug. Which is player two. So player two is I think player two is the 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 blue one. Cause player two is controlled with WASD. And so player two should hit three hundred at some point because it starts out at 65, right? So at some point during its journey, it should hit 300, but it doesn't hit 300, which is weird. I don't know how far you have to move for it to hit 300. But it doesn't hit, I don't know how visible this is. For me, it's fine, but it could be small. For, uh, let me make it a bit bigger just in case it's, it's invisible. Let's try, come on. Sometimes Max are not very friendly machines. Okay, pop that here. Let's go that way. Maybe maybe player player is uh no player two is definitely blue. Yeah, player two is blue. So that's sixty five. Okay, and nothing's happening. I don't see anything happening. So that conclusion that concludes that the position is this isn't how you call the position. So I just I just want to put a debugger in just to see. Test no okay let's try that. So we'll we'll try on on play one and I'm going to just move it here just for the sake of sanity. Move it down here. I'll try on play one. But I I don't think I'm 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 just very confused. I'm just very confused at why so we've got a velocity why that's to move it. Camera camera is following play two. I I don't think it, it matters what camera is, what player the camera's following. I just want to know that the player has moved to a certain position and then I, I, I can trigger the camera on or off. If that makes sense. Am I making sense? Okay. Uh, something broke, let's try that again. So this is happening on a different player. Player one which is the red one. Nothing's happening that way. Nothing's happening the other way. So I, I think, let me just, I've forgotten how to do that debugger. Um, I think it's just JS debug. I think it's just JS debug, which is a function. I think that's how it works. No, or browser debug, sorry. Is it browser debug? I feel like I've forgotten how to do this. I used to know how to do this, it's so annoying. Um, no, debug is, is missing. Missing field, yeah. I can just Google this. Why am I wasting my time? Mm -mm -mm. 
I don't want to use that debugger, I want to use the JavaScript one. Uh, no, this is not what I want. Properties of the, um, so I think the position of, of the of the sprite can be for X and Y as well. If that makes sense. Here we go. This is what I want. JS lib debug. It's been a while, people. It's been a while. Yeah, so I, I think the position can, can be determined by X and Y as well. But I could be wrong. So I, I, what I'm going to do is just hit, hit a debugger. Is it lowercase? Okay, it's lowercase d. Hit the debugger just to see all the properties that... Um, this this might break a lot, but sealed properties that um, the, the players have when the game runs, and, and then I can see what exists, see what's available to me. So if I hit that, and it should, wow, okay, that that was shocking. That's it didn't hit the, the debugger. Whoa, that's that's a shock. Um, okay, so there's something more sinister here. That is how you do it, right? That's that is how you do the debugger. It doesn't seem to work. That's really odd. Let's put it up here. That's so odd. It should happen on the first run of the game, but it didn't seem to do anything. Let me try that again. Okay, so maybe something else is going on here. Whoops, I hit the mic, sorry about that. <laughs> that must have been annoying for your ears. Whoops, and this is probably killing your CPU, so sorry, I wasn't meant to do that, it's just, it's just a habit. <laughs> yeah, but note to self, next time, don't stream on a such high CPU. Cause I'm, I'm actually getting notifications on OBS telling me it's skipping frames, so yeah, it skipped another frame as well. So I apologize for that in advance. Right, here we go, so it's hit the debugger, perfect. So that's interesting, so it didn't hit it down here, but it only hit it at the top. Okay, so what, what options do we have available to us? Let's have a look, do we have underscore player, uh, player um, one? No, we don't have player one. Who do we have? What do we have? Player one is not defined. Why don't we have player one? That's... What? Uh, uh, sources. Okay. There we go. Player one exists. Player one alpha is one. Color, flip, frames. Here we go. So this is what I want, X and Y. So it starts out at... Um, 265 and then 200. So how, how do we check the updated position? Maybe, maybe I'm, I'm doing it in the wrong place. Frame width, frame height, flip. Yeah, all, all this looks correct to me. Let's turn that off. And then we'll, we'll put this here above it because I know it definitely hits. And then, what we can do actually is just uh, what position does that start now? Oh, sorry, it starts at I think two six five on on the X. Yeah, X is so let's let's just do two seventy, right? So that that should be any movement, and then we'll hit the debug. Okay, and if that doesn't work, then we have problems. Um. I'm going to kill this for now so it gets out of the debugger and now bring it back. Okay. I think I'm, I'm going to jump over to the console. It's going to break your CPU, but bear with me. <laughs> okay, it's still building the game. I thought we'd have finished by now. Okay, it's done. 
maybe use more than oh that's a very good point yes yes you're correct because it only equals 270 for a split second right so if if i um refresh and play the game yeah so oh what happened okay so the game's running if i move i don't know this way or a wrong player that way no oh it doesn't hit anyway let's try that again does it hit the debugger am i seeing anything no, it doesn't seem to hit it anyway. <laughs> that didn't work. But yeah, let, let's try it. Maybe it hits it really quickly. So I'll, I'll try what you said. Yeah, maybe it's meant to be more than... That's a very good point. I don't know what I didn't think of that. Okay, are we still building? No, it's done. Yeah, so it's it's getting a lot quicker at compiling the game now. I'm just, I'm just very skeptical of the speed. Okay, so I am moving player one. Play two. Still nothing. Wow, this is a this is a, not a fun stream. Like I said, I'm a bit rusty. So what? Why is why is that not working? I don't understand. Let's have a look at this game over here. Dot x. Do we have any dot x's? Velocity dot x. Offset dot x. Level dot x. Okay. Do I do any kind of um? Uh, it might be might be velocity. Yeah, it might be velocity actually. Well, it does make sense for it to be velocity. Moving left. Let's try velocity. But velocity doesn't doesn't change, right? Let me sorry, let me have a look at that. I think that's probably drag, offset, acceleration, jump position. Maybe the X and Y position is, is what is originally set, right? I I don't know. Yeah, maybe let's let's just try this. Let's just try this way and see if that does anything. Um, I apologize for jumping between desktops. I'm just double checking something. I can appreciate how annoying this must be for you. <laughs> I apologize again. Um, moving left, pacing. Pacing in attack mode. Wow, this is this is a lot of codes that I wrote when I was younger. Okay, so that happens. So that yeah. So we've got some velocity y. Yeah. So so maybe it's velocity. I don't know. Let's check that. Okay. Nothing. I saw nothing. That's so weird. Is it is it not velocity? I'm I'm completely lost here. I'm I'm very lost. Maybe anything related to velocity must be outside of uh, check distance between player one and player two. Um, okay, we could do that. Yeah, we can we can do that. What what do you suggest I should use for that? Because I'm just thinking of doing like is there a check check distance function? Because I was thinking of, of just checking, like checking the velocity x and velocity y. I don't know how else to do that. <laughs> so I'm, I'm open for suggestions. Um, let me have a look. Flex math. Because if you want to check the distance, right, you still have to find out what position it's in to do that, unless there's a function to help you do that. Let me just get, get this and place it underneath the update. I don't know why I think this makes a difference, but it's, it's worth trying out. Because I've got a velocity chain. It might, it might work, it might not work. Yes, okay. So the issue here is because I don't know if player X and player Y are actually returning values. That That's my issue. So I, I see what you're saying. Your code does look sound. But my issue is play X and player Y weren't returning any values, so I'm just doing something to, to, to make sure they are, and and they're still not. So I think I've I've just got the wrong. I've got the wrong methods. I'm using the wrong methods. I don't know what the right method is to use to capture the player's position as they move. Now, based on this old code that I wrote, I assumed it was velocity, right? Because You've got 
I don't know what this isn't. Yeah, this is for the leopard, which is a sprite. So you've got this leopard velocity. So if if the velocity is less than twenty five, then it's it's playing. This is a bad way of doing it, by the way. If less than twenty five, it's dying. I was on the okay. This is yeah. This, this is a height in attack mode. This is very bad code. I don't. Yeah, I don't suggest doing it that way. Get position. Oh, there's get position, isn't there? Oh, hang on a minute. That's quite interesting. It might just be get position. But then you don't want to run get position on each... If player X... Um, you don't want to run get position on each frame, right? Let's let's just check that. Let's just check that. Let's see what that does. Um, so, so get position. X. Yeah, that, that could work, actually. That could work. Is there any documentation on that? Uh, get position, no, no documentation. So it returns us to X and Y. But get position is, is the same as doing the actual position, right? Just doing get X. Uh, we, we can try that. Get screen position, get midpoint. Oh, this is for objects. Okay. Let's let's give that a go. Let's see if that works. Because it seems to be get position X if it's more than boundary that so this is doing something this is for the leopard as well the leopard's got a lot of code <laughs> um yeah I'm, I'm quite confident about that option actually let's have a look okay so we're gonna move the red nope still nothing Ugh, the blue nope still nothing okay this is this is embarrassing it honestly is embarrassing because i've done this before let's move this up here I'm actually going to keep it up here next. I, I know it works when it's up in this position above the elapsed. However, this here, I guarantee, is below the elapsed in attack mode. In attack mode is a function that is below the elapsed, and that seems to work, so I don't understand. Has there been an update to Hacksfix all while, I, while I've been away? Um, I'm checking the terminal once more just to make sure it's... Yeah, so it's still building now, it's done. It's catching up with some old builds. I'll give it a minute. Okay. Here we go. So we've got get position above here. No. So, okay. It worked. It worked. Um, that's definitely a break point. That hit. It definitely worked. I can guarantee this if it goes back to sources. Um, I can't see what hit, but it did hit. Why isn't it showing me what hit? That's a bit weird, isn't it? Um, application, no. It's definitely sources. Okay, why does it do that? So this is the line that hit. So there we go, so it definitely hit. Get position. So if, if we, I don't know, get player one, look at the X and Y position. There we go, there we go, 270. So that definitely moved. I don't know why just running regular X doesn't work. Because we in the stream we we did do that. We did do that. Just let me let me try it. Let's let's just try regular X because I'm sure we did that and it didn't work. I'm just, just gonna try this just just for for yeah, just to make sure that Oh something else is broken, but we'll fix that later. Oh, because I got rid of the camera. And it breaks fine. This is fine. This is as expected. Okay. So if I move that one, the breakpoint still happens. Okay. So it. Uh, hang on a minute. Let's let's do that. Sorry. Is it? Yeah. So the breakpoint still happens. So I don't know why just doing play X the first time didn't work. X is public. Yeah. Look, it still it still hits the breakpoint. So why didn't this work the first? I don't know. That's very confusing. Anyway, <laughs> we're here and that's all that matters. We got there eventually. Okay, so ooh, now what I'm doing is saying that if if player, what was I doing? So when, when the game starts initially, I guess both the players will be different, different positions. And when, and when one player gets close to another, we get rid of one camera, but when they're far apart, we put that camera back. 
So what I can do is say when the game starts, we're gonna we're gonna have both cameras visible at the start. So each have will have different different people following them. Camera one. And then this can add camera one as well. So both cameras exist. And then if if player two um, and I'm going to use your distance thing here. So if if player one minus player two is less than or equal to, I like that. Minus uh, player two x is uh, less than or equal to one thousand. Then what we're going to do is we're going to kill player two. I mean camera two, and then camera one. Says, no, is that the one we're going to kill camera one? Right, because cam camera one is the half. Yeah, camera one's half. So we're going to kill camera one. And then there'll be one camera for both players. Um, and then else. Do I want to do an else? That's a good question. I don't know if I want to do an else because like if, if I do an else and then what would that be? Then we keep the cameras the same. Cause you don't, you don't want to keep adding the cameras, right? Let's just do this first and then we'll come to that, we'll cross that problem later. But I think we just want to have it the way it was before, right? You want to have, have them. Hmm. Yeah, what we, what we really want to do is just have, have one turned on and off and removing might not be the best way to do it. Let's have a look at this camera's API and see what other options. So you can add, you can remove. Yeah, you need to turn it on again, but is, the, is that add? Do we need to add both of them? Oh, no. Um, so, yeah, so to, to remove, you've got that. And then I guess we can add camera one, but do we want to keep adding it? Let's just, let's just check this. Okay, that debugger should be dead. So we have, let's move them apart. Why is that happening? There shouldn't be a debugger. Is it frozen in the game? It's frozen in the game. Why is it frozen in the game? Whoops. Let's have a look. Sorry, I'm going to jump to my terminal. See if everything everything's good. Oh, it's still building. Why is it still building? Why is it? Okay. Do I have a backlog of, of changes? Right. Let's search for that again. So we have the camera's gone. How did the camera go away? Oh, no, the camera should exist. The camera does exist. Um... Oh no, wait, 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 wait. I think I know what the problem is. So, yeah. When this is greater than half the screen with, yeah. Oh, is is that what you're, when this is greater than, okay, fine, fine. Let, we'll cross that bridge in a second. Let me just have a look at this. So, camera half width, player one, half width, right. So, yeah, this is fine. Why can't I see, why can't I see the, the camera? Like, it it should show both cameras. Uh, this is the width. Yeah, this is fine. This is the width of the camera. That that's fine. It should show both cameras when when the game first loads. So there should be a split screen, but there isn't. Do I get any any errors in the console? What does this say? Can I remove the camera you tempted to remove? It's not part of the game. Okay. What? Why? It is part of the game, is it not? It's here. Camera one. What? <laughs> what have I done wrong? Oh, so it, it removes. Okay, let's change that. Let's change this up a bit. So let, let's say it's more than a thousand. So if the split is more than a thousand, um, I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know. I guess, I guess it tries to remove it too early, but we'll see if that fixes it. But it should run the create method before it runs the update, right? So why, why would it remove it too early? It looks like my OBS is saying there's a lot of frame cutting, no, 
still the same, still the same issue. Can we use Untouched Remove? It's not part of the game. It must be part of the game, right? Because because I've added it here. Hmm. I'm actually quite lost. <laughs> Okay, you can't move it more than more than once. But it should add it if if it's that's a good point. That's a good point, yes, you're right. So is there a way to check if the camera has been removed? This is turning out to be more complex than I thought it would be. Is there is there a method? Remove camera remove dispatch camera set default. Index of let's go to stop lists. Okay, so we've got lists, so you can start the cameras, right? Camera added. What does that do? I guess this this is a function we can use to check if the camera has been added. I don't know. So if if the camera is removed, um, can I can I check that? Sorry. I'm I'm really bad at doing this. I'm I'm gonna put a breakpoint in here just to see what kind of options we have because for some reason they haven't added any documentation to say what this is doing. What I'm I can assume what it's doing, right? What does it return? A, a signal typed. You can add. You can remove. You can, oh, set default, no, reset. Oh, you can, oh, reset. This is probably what I want, actually. Oh, no, reset, okay, that's not what I want. I need to do a split screen. Why is it handy for doing a split screen? Um, Let's try that again. Okay, so a split screen exists. Um, what, what was I testing? I'm testing, oh yeah, I'm testing to see what options we get. Um, oh, so, something bad has happened here. I apologize because it's moving like treacle. The frame rate is very bad. The stream must be, <laughs> the stream must be insanely slow right now. What has happened? Is it adding is adding multiple cameras each time, right? I think that's what it's doing. It must be adding just loads and loads and loads of cameras. So so we need to check if a camera is added before we add a new camera. Is that fixed? Yeah, okay, it's lost no is it smoother? Uh not quite. Yeah, I, yeah, because <laughs> because I, I I killed the game. <laughs> All right, let's let's see what's going on. It's, it's still building. So basically, what I've done, I think, is adding the camera multiple times. So this is a bit more smooth. Um, So stuff stuff is just not working for me today. I guess may maybe what it's done no, it couldn't have done that. I was thinking it should move the second camera, but it hasn't. Well it I don't know. Okay. I promise by like the third or fourth stream that I do have hacks fixed, it'll be a lot faster, but at the moment I'm just really rusty. <laughs> okay. I just wanna see what options we have. Come on game. Is it still building? It shouldn't take this long to build. Yeah, it's still building, that's insane. Okay.
Okay, I hit that debugger, perfect, this is what I want. And now I just want to see what options I have with FLX cameras. So what do we have here? We have cameras added camera. Okay, so does it give you an array? Sorry, mouth was away from the mic. This is a function, okay, that's annoying. So it's a function that, okay, here we go. so the defaults, three cameras, this is not what I want. Let's start. Why do I have three cameras? This should be two, right? Anyway, I, I guess this is a way to check if someone's if a camera's been removed. But the cameras have no names. So you you can't can you name a camera? Because <laughs> if you could name a camera, you could check if a camera has a specific name. Let me just print this out to the console. So uh Flexel FLX G cameras as witness. What do we have? We have default here, number one, IDs. So cameras have got IDs. So we could check if an if the if a camera ID exists. Yeah, so we've got we got ID one, ID two. Do we have names? No, we don't have names. Cameras don't have names. That's frustrating. But fine, I guess. So what, what we can do is check the camera list to see if a certain camera or a certain of the ID is alive. Can you kill cameras? Wait, a camera is an extension of like an FLX object? Because <laughs> if you can, I can just kill one, right? <laughs> Let's have a look. So camera, camera front end. Let's have a look at that type. No, it doesn't extend anything. No, fine. Okay, so I don't have that. Power. So we've got camera alive, debugger, da 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 da. So let, let's just say X, Y position invisible true. Why do you, so you can make it invisible. I don't understand why the API is not giving me all those options. Come on, internet. Oof. This is this is just one of those days, I guess. The CPU is is doing funky stuff to my internet right now. Can I at least open that in a new tab? Is that it? Okay, fine. I'm I'm flying blind. <laughs> um, okay, I think I have the option to to check if a camera exists based on its ID. My worry is I don't know. I don't know what camera is what. I don't know if, if this camera here is, is ID. I'm assuming the default camera is ID zero. And this is camera one, this is camera two, like ID, ID one, ID two. Um, we, we can try. So if, if player is da -da -da -da, and uh, FLX G cam, cameras dot list. Um, so camera one is, I'm going to assume one, one, uh, camera's on the side, ID one, dot visible, is visible what I want? How do you have an alpha for a camera? I'm so lost. You've got alpha, you've got angle, is it a sprite? Pixel perfect shade, or oh, pixel perfect render, fine, that makes sense. Um, so I'm going to say visible, because visible means it's, it's, it's either removed or not, right? So if... So if this camera and this camera is visible, then then remove it. So only remove it once if it's if it's visible, like visible. Else, this should also be an if, right? So if um, if this um, so this is going to be a, a very verbose way of doing it, but I'll refactor at some point later on. So if this is the opposite of that. And oh, this is Boolean. So it's not visible. Then you add the camera, and that makes it visible. And yeah, I think let, let's just try this. I have no idea what I'm doing, but 
it would be nice if the API, or if my internet was working. Actually, I've got the debugger. Is that what's causing my internet to break? Okay, we have, we have internet now. So we've got X, Y, what angle? Alpha. Can, can you change the alpha of a camera? Do we have that ability? Variables, do we have any, where's the method section? See, this isn't read only, so that means we can change the camera's alpha, right? Because if it was read only, we couldn't change the camera's alpha. So it's, instead of me, give me a sec, let me, let's look at the visibility. Visible, visible. Uh, no, there's not, we don't have the option of visibility. I thought we did. With zoom, method, contains rect, fill, focus on, set position, all this great stuff. Shake, okay. Oh, wait. Look at that. It, it inherits FLX Basic. Okay. And FLX Basic has. Don't think you can remove it and check if it's visible. Um, give me a sec. Because I might not want to remove it. I might want to do something else. Because you can, okay, you can destroy it. You can kill it. You can revive. Here we go. You can kill and revive it, right? Because if it extends to FLX Basic, then, then you can kill it. Is, is that something we can do? Is that something I can do? Visible, you can see. Because um, I don't know if that's, if that's an option. So if you're right, I guess if you remove it from, from the list, it doesn't exist. So we can check if it exists, right? So if if camera one exists, I don't know if, if there's a way to do that. Um, if, if that exists, then you can remove it. If if it doesn't exist, is that, is that the right thing to do? If, that, if it doesn't exist, then you can add it. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, let's just try this. <laughs> Let's just try that. Camera should be a ball. Is it not a ball? How do I change that to a ball? It's not. Can you do that in, in hacks? <laughs> How do you change a... Um, how, how do you do that in hacks? Is, is there like an array exists type thing? Uh, contains, copy. Inserts. No, to string. Is that, is that, uh, okay, we've got a bool. Can you convert something to a bool? No, you can't. Um, Cause I thought this, well, I guess this is not JavaScript, is it? So in JavaScript, you could do something like that. And then, and then you can convert that to a boolean. Actually, can you, can you have like an STD? Here we go. Can we convert something to a boolean? Standard int is of type pass floats, pass int. How do, you, how do you convert, how do you check if something exists and use a boolean? Can we do that? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm completely lost here. <laughs> so we've got, we've got array. What do we have? We've got array, length. Oh, we could do length. Can we do length? No, because it's not an array, it's, it's, it's a struct. Okay. Does it return null? That's a good point. So if that equals equals null, uh, this doesn't doesn't equal null. That means it exists. If it does equal equal null, that means it doesn't exist. Then you add it. Are you winning? Should be a ball. Okay, we win on that side. Do we win here? We don't win here. Because I've got this here. We don't need that. Okay. I'm going to get the console open. Fingers crossed this all works fine, but judging by my track record, it probably won't. Can we have a look at the console? It's still building. I'm going to figure out a way how to get it done faster. Why is it building twice? Oh, because I've saved multiple times. Let's have a look at the, um, whoops, that's not what I wanted. I don't know, you could do that. I wanted that. 
one second it doesn't take one second to build it would have been a lot faster anyway changing desktops here we go are we winning okay here we go okay so something's broken because both cameras are meant to show but that's fine that's fine <laughs> um okay so it's not it doesn't have frame rate issues so it's no longer adding the second camera oh okay it tried to add it and it said the camera you sent it to remove is not part of the game so it tried to move it twice why did it remove it the first time maybe it's not one this is the thing i don't know what what number this is so i'm just guessing is there a way like a concrete way to tell what what number this camera is i, I don't know let's try two <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna try two and I'm gonna try zero and if they both don't work then I'm giving up <laughs> I don't get why you can't name that, that's probably something they could add in the future version of Flixel as a way to name cameras so we can figure out how to select a camera based on its name instead of just guessing what what the ID is because I'm assuming the ID was one but hang on actually this, this isn't the best way to do it because the ID could change based on the position that it's added in, right? So if you if you have a camera that's added first and then you remove it and you add it again, it won't be in the first position of the array, it'll be in the last position. So this is this isn't the best way to do it. I'm guessing that's how it works. I could be wrong. Um here we go. There we go. So it's still the same issue. So does that mean it's not two? Oh, sorry, it's still building. That's that's just done. Okay, that was my fault. I was, I was too eager. Here we go. Okay, okay, so... <laughs> I don't get any issues So the camera. So I'm assuming that the camera... Oh, here we go. Something happened. Um, uh, so what I'm going to do I've been streaming for a lot longer than I wanted to, than I wanted to. so I <laughs> appreciate you all watching I apologise for the bad quality of the stream I apologise for <laughs> my lack of knowledge of hacks I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop streaming here and I'll continue this at some point in the future what's likely going to happen is I'm going to go away and do a lot of reading <laughs> of my old code and of some API documentation and then come back to this later as a pro <laughs> so you guys can learn something instead of me just fumbling about but thanks for watching thanks for joining my first ever hacks flexible stream and i hope to see you in the next one please like and subscribe to the channel for more i promise next time i won't mess up the aspect ratio as well no one wants to watch a 9 by 16 stream because that's horrible